Hello everyone. Today's question is Trump. I know a lot of us are very worried about the situation. We're waiting to see what's happened. Um, in Australia today is Monday, March uh, 26th, but it's March 25th in the United States. It's a Sunday in the U.S. And I'm just going to ask um, my channel. My channel is called The Man in the Moon. I am going to ask him um, what's going to happen. Uh, when will Trump um, leave office and um, how will he leave office? All right, if you'll just give me a moment to ask him. Hmm. Okay, great spirit. Um, when will Trump leave office? Hmm. Yep. Well, um, Trump is uh, almost alone. Uh, I can see him in a boardroom and he's sitting alone and just sitting there fuming. Um, you know, it's like he's a child. It's like he's a child and he didn't get invited to the birthday party. That's exactly how he feels. Um, all the other kids are having fun and, they're, and he's not. And he's just sitting there fuming like a baby. Um, and this is when he's going to leave. He just doesn't, there's no one else, no one else that's going to turn on to. He, he just doesn't have anyone um, to rely on. Okay, uh, Bolton's face is coming up. Hmm. All right. And Bolton. Let's see what's Bolton doing. Even Bolton has become frustrated with him. Even Bolton will finally say, you know, you're a complete fool. I, I just, even I can't work with you. Even if it means that I will be ruined, um, I just I just can't get any, any closer to you. And finally, when he's sitting there alone in his office, um, he will, um, somebody's going to walk in and tell him. I think actually it might be the Republicans, it might be Paul Ryan and... Um, um, I forget the name of the other Republican who wears those glasses and he's very flabby looking. Um, Mitch McConnell. Yeah, um, they're going to go and uh, like have a little conversation with him and say, look, uh, you really need to go. Um, and he is going to say no and he's going to throw a screaming temper tantrum and he's going to start breaking things and crying and just... Literally, like, um, you know, that scene in Citizen Kane where he just goes to the house and he just breaks things. Um, that's what he's going to be doing. I see him, like, throwing books, you know, and just tearing them apart and just in fury, absolute fury of, of what's gone on. Um, now, uh, these guys, uh, Ryan and McConnell, they do not want to do it. This is absolutely their last... Just, just they, they finally have gotten to the point where they cannot do anything else. It's because of Mueller. It's because Mueller has revealed stuff, or he's just about to reveal more. Um, they go in and they let him know. Look, there's no way that you are going to survive a um, the uh, um, impeachment process. There, there's no way that you will survive. Um, Now, he doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to admit he's wrong, but he'll do it. He'll he'll leave um, before the impeachment because he's he knows at least at that point he knows that he's licked. Um, and I mean, there there may be people who come in and physically restrain him. Like I see him like going after portraits of you know famous people like like Abraham Lincoln and it's like slashing it with a knife. Now that might be just a, um, a metaphor for what's become of his party over time and how little regard he has for you know, America and what it, it stands for. Hmm. Yeah, they will serve him with the letters of impeachment and say, look, um, you either go now or you're going to go through this and you're going to lose. And, um, you know, by the way, Bolton just left and, you know, he's going to go have a conversation with Fox News about 
how um, that was a mistake and you really can't be trusted. And that's that's when he knows even even that network will not support him. Yeah, he pressed the button if he could, but he can't get a hold of it. Um, somebody walks in and says, um, nope, 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 nope. It might even be that somebody figures out that he's intending to press that button and they they like make plans to stop him. Yeah, because he'd, he'd press it tomorrow if he could, right? Um, he will do anything. Yeah, he'll sign a resignation. He will not be impeached, um, but he'll sign a resignation. So here's another question. Um, will Mueller, um, will he... Um, Will he remove Mueller? Will he try to remove him? Um, I'm getting the impression he will um, actually remove a Mueller, but he um, I see Mueller actually in a in a jail cell to tell you the truth. But I see com Trump coming back and unlocking the door and and opening it and letting him out. I think he will try to remove Mueller and he may succeed and they will you know will put it back. I see that there will be so much uh, public pressure. You know, just teams and teams and teams of people like stopping traffic in all of D.C. Like no, like no protest you've ever seen. People will come out and just say, no, we've had enough. Um, and he'll have to put Mueller back. And that'll be pretty much the end. Um, that'll be when he knows that he hasn't beat Mueller. Um, and I wonder if he will not literally try to put him behind bars. Um, um, Mueller is defiant. Mueller will not um, concede. He will not go. He will not do. Um, he um, is defiant. Even in prison, his arms are crossed. He will not do what he is told by Trump. Um, and he will. Mueller will ultimately succeed. Um, look, um, the spirit is saying, look, do not worry. These are times when, when we're subject to great worries. Um, and reasonably so, many, many terrible things could uh, happen right now. But ultimately, um, you know, the truth will win. You know, ultimately what uh, the process that has been set in place, um, even by our forefathers, to make sure that judiciary is separate from our government will ultimately succeed. And if there's nothing else that we get out of this, it should at least be the idea that... Um, our system is a good system in that respect. The tripart government, tripartite government, well, two houses of that government have failed. Um, nevertheless, the judiciary did not fail. It, um, it prevailed um, over a system that is indeed um, very, very broken and somewhat corrupt. Um, at least the judiciary uh, was not corrupt. Yeah, um, Mueller's giving me the thumbs up. He keeps saying, look, hey, don't worry about it. He's got it all planned out. He's got, he's got a plan. Even if he is removed, he has a plan that will save the day. Um, even if he's shot tomorrow, he's got a plan that will make sure that this process will go through to the end. Um, there are people whose names we do not know that are backing it up. Um, there are people in the White House who have been assigned to watch Trump and make sure he doesn't get anywhere near any nuclear codes. Um, he's not bright enough to do it on his own anyway. He would need their help. And um, even Bolton would say no. Even Bolton will say, no way, I'm not going to just drop a bomb on North Korea. I'm not doing that. Um, I, I'm, I might mouth those words, but um, that's just to get media attention. I'm just another... A media head talking head I, I don't really believe those things that I say it's just a way to get attention or even a way to help negotiate if I see unreasonable if I'm unreasonable then um, maybe they'll negotiate mention the same way that Trump does um, 
anything else that we need to know, Great Spirit, about this? He's like, try to try to be calm and try to react to this this calmly. Um, if you must go protest, um, just do this peacefully and calmly and put faith in your uh, put faith in your people that they will come together in this true moment um, where our democracy um, needs the people who are are, are supporting that democracy. Um, when those people come together, then um, we really can um, stop whatever might happen. All right. Okay, so he says that's all we need to know. Thanks for watching.